I'm about to share a story with you here that um, I'm not, I don't think I ever could have guessed that we'd see something like this happen. We now have Republicans proposing to seize Russian billionaire jets and yachts. Do we have a graphic we could throw up on that, guys? So The Hill says, lawmaker to offer measure allowing Americans to seize jets, yachts of Russia, Russia billionaires. Uh, Lance Gooden says, corrupt Russian oligarchs. This is a Republican uh, congressman. Corrupt Russian oligarchs have enabled Putin's war. That's why I have introduced legislation to allow U.S. citizens to seize yachts and jets of sanctioned Russians. We must use every tool at our disposal to stand up to Russia and stand with Ukraine. So, I mean, just think about what this is for a moment. This is Republican politicians who are like, we must seize the assets of billionaires. Take away their assets. To which I say, based. Absolutely. Look, the, all, you should, every sanction we possibly can against Putin and the oligarchs, go all in. They need to feel it. They need to reverse course. They need to know that an illegal invasion of Ukraine is not okay, not on the table. You better act right. You're done, son. Because these, look, the oligarchs are comfy. The billionaires are comfy. And so the second they become not comfy, well, then there's more pressure on Putin to be like, hey, dog, you're going to have to reverse this stuff because now you're affecting me. When it was only about, you know, Ukrainian civilians and, you know, poor uh, Russians who were sent to go fight and die for your cause, that was one thing. But now it's affecting my wallet. And now I'm not okay with it. So I'm in favor of that. But, you know, the obvious point here to make is, why stop at just Russians? <laughs> why stop at just Russians? I mean, Bezos's super yacht is so gigantic that his yacht has a yacht. His yacht has a yacht. And it's funny how we're cool using the term oligarch when it comes to Russia, but we never use it when it comes to the U.S. No, we should use it when it comes to the U.S. We should use oligarch for <laughs> Russia and the U.S. We actually have shockingly similar uh, amount of income and wealth inequality, which is kind of crazy, but it's true. It is true. And so our billionaires, our oligarchs, they do campaign contributions, effectively buy the politicians, rig the system. And um, could you imagine if a Republican administration is in there and they basically seize the yachts and the jets of the democratically aligned billionaires or a democratic administration is in there and they seize the yachts and the jets of the Republican aligned billionaires and oligarchs. I actually sort of welcome that future. I would love to see that future. I'd love to see a future where we are equally as skeptical of insane, colossal, gargantuan amounts of wealth here as we are when it comes to Russia. You know, like the mindset when we talk about Russia and the oligarchs and the billionaires is like, well, they're all directly in bed with the government. And so they, you know, they're sort of in on the inner workings. And so that's why it's cool to do this. But in the U.S., we don't think of it like that. But we should. But we should, because that is how it works here. It absolutely the corporations and the government are just in bed together. And who's really calling the shots? Well, I think you guys know. So you watch this show, you probably know some people don't. But some people think, no, it's the politicians who are like above the billionaires, nah, nah, I don't know. In Russia, it actually might be a little different where I think Putin has been in power for so long that he may have an authoritarian iron grip on like everybody and everything. Uh, but here in the US, nah, you're, if you're president, you're just visiting for four years or eight years, dog. And you got bosses and your bosses are the people with all the money and all the power. So if we're talking about seizing yachts and jets, I'm here for that conversation. But I would love to see some of that, you know, used against American billionaires and American oligarchs. Because let me explain something to you. They definitely are committing crimes. I mean, think about it. The like the CEO of Raytheon or Boeing, you know, like the the weapons manufacturers who sell it to authoritarian regimes and dictators and theocracies, and the weapons are used for genocides and like what? Is that something that's not condemnable? I mean, if you have some Russian oligarch who's, you know, who's weapons are being used to slaughter innocent people in Ukraine, we'd all say, you're directly responsible for that. Seize the jet and the yacht. But here in the U.S., if you're the head of Lockheed Martin, it's like, no, nah, that's just Dave. He's cool. No, <laughs> he's got the blood of your many babies on his hands. 
So look, I'd love to see it. I'd love to see, seize those offshore bank accounts, baby. That's another conversation that we're, we're having now where all these Russian oligarchs have, you know, billions of dollars in offshore banks. And if we seize that, well, you could cut their net worth quite a bit overnight now, can't you? I'd do that with U.S. billionaires too, man. I would. I would. Now, if you're not a criminal and you haven't effectively bought the government and um, you're not really an oligarch, well, then that's a different story. Maybe we just tax you more. But for the ones who are actually criminals, I'm here for it, man. We got Republicans talking about seizing yachts and jets. Who would ever thought that? These are the people who are all about like, Private property rights are the most sacrosanct thing in the world. And we don't want to punish the job creators. Those sorts of arguments could all apply to the oligarchs in Russia too, but now that's out the window. They can see the picture clearly when it comes to this, when it comes to how they're in bed with the government. But here in the US, well, I don't know what you're talking about. Our billionaires made it through merit and just working hard and there's no corruption or anything going on here. Yes, there is, son. <laughs> yes, there is. Seize the yachts, baby. Seize the jets. I am definitely here for it. Ever since Adpocalypse, when YouTube defunded all independent news and politics overnight, we haven't trusted them. We know they can pull the rug out from underneath us at any time. If you enjoy this content, please consider tipping a dollar or two per month on the Secular Talk Patreon. Link in the video description box below. Thanks for your support.